I'm not exaggerating, this Home Assistant card is a game changer. You need to start using it really right now. In this video, we're gonna look at the Mushroom card collection and we're gonna go through them all one by one, all of the different cards that you've got available. Now, this is a custom card in the Home Assistant community store, but I really recommend you use it. Try it out and let's just get into it. But first, let's roll the intro. Now let's jump into Home Assistant to find out how we can install the Mushroom card collection. The only prerequisite is to have Hacks installed, the Home Assistant Community Store. Jump into Hacks, click on front end, click on the plus button, search for Mushroom. First of all, we're gonna pick the Lovelace one over here. We've got a beautiful example over here and you can also look at the Git repository for more information. But we're gonna just click download this repository in Hacks. Pick the version that you want to use. I'm picking the latest version. Just going to click on download. Now we need to reload our browser. So just click that. And now it should be available to use. Now jump into your Home Assistant dashboard and you can add cards like usual. And if we click on add card in the list now, we should have the mushrooms set. So we can see them all. So we're going to cover them one by one. First one we're going to look at alarm card. So I always like to take the name off. As you can see, that looks a lot better. Uh, you've got options with the icon, you've got different layouts, so you can have a ver default layout, vertical layout, and we can have a horizontal layout. I might go with the horizontal layout for now. We have the different states that we want to have, so armed home, armed away. Uh, we could also have other states like armed night. So I use armed night and I use armed away, so I'm going to take armed home away. I will leave all of these other actions to default, so leave them as they are. So we can save this card over here. Let's look at the traditional card. So we go add card and look at the alarm panel. I can do the same thing so I can take the name off and I can also change the states that it uses. So if we look at the two side by side, we can actually see that the new mushroom one has slightly better design in my opinion. Um, the biggest one is the two icons that represent Arm Away and Arm Night, just set over here. Now let's look at the cover. So cover is used for doors, blinds, curtains. So if you can see an example over here, this is an example uh, of the uh, garage door and side by side. So we've got the traditional one on the left hand side and on the right hand side, we have the one from the mushroom template. Uh, if I switch this over and I actually use a blind, you can see the configuration is pretty much similar. So we can toggle this open position control, which gives us a, a, a sort of a way to maneuver the actual position of the blind. So you can set it like in the middle. You can also add buttons. So you can, for example, click it down for it to go down. You can pause it and you can put it back up. You've got options for your layout. So you can change from the vertical layout to horizontal layout. So maybe this default layout over here is quite nice. If we just compare that to the traditional one, we don't have that many options. Uh, we can re just remove name. There's no option to having that. Uh, over there. Now I'm using the button card specifically when I'm doing this comparison, which is the favorite way I'm using to actually control a cover. The next one we're going to be looking at is the entity card. So we scroll down a little bit, we should find it here, mushroom entity card. We can click it and I'm just going to switch this to uh, the thermostat. So you can see the two cards side by side. Uh, this looks a little bit neat, it has a different font, it looks a little bit more compact, but it's pretty much the same if you look at the two. It's just the way things are displayed. So functionality-wise, uh, by default, they look exactly the same. Let's see what we can do. So we can also change the color. So you can see we can change the color over here of the icon. We can change the layout. Uh, so we can have something a little bit like this, vertical or horizontal, depending on your preference. You can uh, also change the information you're displaying, which I think is fine to keep it as default. So by clicking on it, we get the same history trend that we get with the traditional card. Not that big of a difference between the traditional one and the mushroom card. Let's move on. Remember, if you're getting value out of this video, like the video, share out this video, and let me know in the comment section below what you think of it. So this one here, we're gonna look at the fan card. I don't have any entities uh, that are fans to show you, unfortunately. So just gonna result looking at the documentation. So this is how the fan actually works. Um, I like the slider functionality, so you can slide uh, to a certain percentage of intensity in terms of the fan. Um, and here you can see uh, some of the options that you can set if you do have a fan. Now a card that I do use a lot is a light card and that's what we're gonna look at next. Side by side again, traditional on the left, the new one on the right. The lamp here, I mean this uh, design is completely different. You can see how compact it is. 
Now, because I've got a grid card, um, you'll see it taking a lot more space than it is, but this also collapses. So if this weren't here, you can see this collapses a lot compared to the traditional one. So let's turn it on. If we turn it on, we can see we have 100% and thing. Other difference that I spotted is that we don't have this slider, which we do have by default. Now by experience, the slider is difficult to use because you sort of need to do this action. And I don't think it's much a really natural action. Jumping onto the thing over here. Now we've got a lot of controls. We've got a brightness control. So this looks like something's gonna be easier to use um, immediately instead of using that thing that slides up and down. Probably I would hide the state. We don't really probably need to know the percentage. We can also use light color. Uh, if we wanted to, we've got color control. So it's cool to change the color palette and it actually switches between brightness and color palette. I love this feature. Uh, this is really awesome. Uh, we can also do temperature color if you wanted to. I'm not really a fan of that. And we've got different layout options, default, vertical and horizontal. Um, I think default looks perfectly fine for me. Next one we're gonna look at is the person card. So let's just type in person. So you've got myself over here, Geo, okay. We've got the same person on both cards again. We can use the entity picture, which I think is is, is huge. Look at that, that looks a lot better than, than this. I could probably just hide the name because uh, I know who I am. So clear winner for the mushroom custom person card. Let's move on. This one here I'm gonna show you is the template card. Now you know I'm a huge fan of templating. I've made several videos and even a masterclass on templating. So here we go. So this is what we can actually do. Um, this card is pretty much unique. So there's really nothing to compare it to. So I'm just gonna give it full space over here. And what we can see is we can sort of change the uh, icon over here. We can use uh, entities we can have some sort of parameters or hello user. So the user is gonna be the user that you, you're logged in with. And remember the two curly brackets that come from templating. How are you is just a fixed uh, expression. So you could put many things here. So this looks like a little bit of a text that you could use on your dashboard on your home screen to just greet you, tell you the weather, and tell you some relevant information to you, your commute time, or whatever you've got set up really with templating. I might actually make a dedicated video about this uh, card specifically linked to templating. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section down below. Another cool one is the chips card. This chips card gives you this tiny button and you can see it over here. Um, and you can change the alignment of the button. So you can have start uh, and you can have it uh, centered, justified, and, and then you can just keep on adding uh, as many as you want, right? So you could build a whole dashboard um, with these little uh, little buttons. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be huge. You can do conditional, a back button. Um, you know, it's just, it just is just crazy. I mean, this is one of the most powerful features and I'll be interested to test this out and see how resilient it is and how does it work with my wall panel. Um, but you can also do template. I mean, it just seems uh, crazy. And so to access what you, you know, you can click on the edit button and, and you can see the things over here. Look, this is the editor and it's giving you the arrow, right? To go backwards and you can see the code and it's, it's type called back. Another really awesome one is the menu chip, right? Which will allow you to have something like an expanding menu in your dashboard. Um, and that's also awesome. A lot of food for thought for your dashboard designs. But let's move on, we're not done yet. The last card we have at the time of recording is the title card. And the title card looks pretty much similar to the templated card. Um, it's got a lot less options. And I think it's just something that you would use, for example, to say like living room and have it, and then underneath have all of the, the buttons, right? You know, the off and the ons. And I think you would use this in combination with maybe chips to add a little bit more descriptions to, to, to what's going on on the screen. Uh, so awesome feature over here, a guy called uh, Pitaya. He's made a huge contribution, in my opinion, to the Home Assistant thing. And I would actually be buying him a very, very large coffee uh, on his repo. And I recommend you do that too. Coming soon, a climate card, a media card, and a vacuum card. As soon as those drop, as soon as I know they're available, I will make a video update and I will let you know how I use them in my smart home. We're running out of time. I don't want this video to be too long. My next video, I'm gonna look at the mushroom theme. And I'm also going to be looking at redesigning my whole dashboard to use these mushroom dashboards. I think it's gonna look awesome. Uh, and I really can't wait for you to see that. And as soon as that video drops, you'll see it right here.
I'll see you in the next one.